Hello everyone, it seems like nearly 80% of you all watching aren't subscribed. Please do, I make all my scripts on this channel. They're original, so you'll find a new story here for sure. Please enjoy the video and subscribe. At the tone, please record your message. Hello, darling. It's me. Of course, you recognize my voice, right? Surely you will. We've talked for years, but... But if you don't, it's me, Alice. Again. Sorry I haven't been in contact with you for three months. Perhaps you're enjoying your peace. Perhaps you're better off now. Or maybe you miss me. But... Considering you never texted me in those three months, I doubt it. It's okay. It's fine. It's fine. I've, um, moved. Far, far away from you. Not sure if my parents told you at all, but, well, I'm not sure if our parents knew about us. Well, there really wasn't us. It was more just me. Oh, I still remember the time you stepped into my room and found those photos of you under my bed. You were in so much shock and fear, and I made you uncomfortable. I'm sorry. But I, I left because, well, you broke up with your girlfriend, came to me, then got another girlfriend. I, I uh, haven't been able to sleep. My thoughts of you keep me up at night. I keep second guessing. I keep waiting for you. I keep, I keep hoping. Because you've always been by my side. We were born in the same hospital. We were neighbors. We went to the same school. How, how did it end up to be them and not me? Why not me? Why was it never me? Why, why her? Why you two? Why not, why not us? Why not us? I hoped, I hoped and hoped that you would change your mind or come to realize my love for you. I mean, I wasn't really the type to make the first move at first. So I, so I waited for you to break up with your girlfriend. I prayed every night. I even tried to push her when she was by the bridges. I tried to... I... I was wrong, but... But... Uh, and surprisingly, you did. You did break up with her. <laughs> I thought that was my chance. My efforts have finally been heard. I was so excited. I was so sure I'll be the next one. I'll be your forever girlfriend. I did so many superstitious things. I play with tarot cards. I check my daily horoscope. I do, I do everything just to make us happen. But, but you were so dense, you never noticed me. I do everything to make us happen. I was hoping that you would realize that I'm right by your side. I'm the girl you need. I would make everything work. I would make sure to drop everything for you. I would stop going to... It... It doesn't matter anymore. That's right. Not anymore. Not anymore. The day you told me you got another girlfriend... And you are thankful that I tried to console you when you were down after that breakup. I think... I think I just snapped then. I screamed at you. I was so angry that you wouldn't notice. You always left me hanging on a string. You'd be so nice to me. You'd be so sweet. You'd wipe off cream from my lips when I ate cream puffs messily. 
You'd bring chocolate over to my room to share. You'd come by my side every time I failed the exams of my life. I thought, I thought you knew. I suppose that we were both just too shy to tell each other of our love and confess, but... But... But the second night confessed, I... I ruined everything. I ruined it. I ruined it all. I ruined... I ruined what could have been us. You... you ran away. You ran from me. I was so mad. I started acting terribly to your girlfriend. I, I'm, right, right, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I used to think that I can wait for you. I can wait till the day you realize, be it 10 years or 20 years. My parents have told me to take up this job in Iceland. I started learning their language and it's great. I'm doing great. Just in case you're wondering or not, um, that's fine too. I'm sure you're a bit afraid of me given the amount of crazy love letters I sent you in high school. <laughs> Yeah, those were me. The huge, cheesy hot letters in Valentine's Day. I've thrown away all the stalking photos of you under the bed. Burnt them. <laughs> Just left a few photos of us two growing up together. I... I don't want to forget you. I still love you, I think. But I can't go on like this. The amount of confessions I've rejected because I always thought that you had my heart and I had yours. The amount of times I've left others hanging on your behalf. Oh, no, no, I'm not trying to guilt trip you in case you were wondering, but no, I don't mean to make you feel terrible. It's just... From my side. Just... Perhaps... Those years weren't the best idea. I mean, you were obviously weirded out by me, and... I broke off what could have been a great childhood friendship with us, but... I shouldn't have confessed on that day. I shouldn't have done... What happened after? I shouldn't have followed you around all the time. I shouldn't have hid under your bed at nights. That was really creepy. <laughs> I know, I know. I used to blame it on my high school brain and how I was so young and naive, but really, really. I was so possessive at that time. I really thought you were mine. Every time you'd walk with another girl, I'd think you're cheating on me. You're cheating on me. But I forgave you time and time again, though... There was no us. There were never a us. At that time, in those years of my craziness, I couldn't even feel love if it wasn't from you. I screamed at my parents, went crazy about it. I stalked you around. <laughs> I'm guilty of even going through your phone. I used to send these weird messages to your girlfriends trying to break them off from you. <laughs> oh, those were funny times. But... I'm stable now, to an extent, I believe. And I think perhaps the best outcome for you is that I leave. So I took up the job in Iceland, and I'll be gone for perhaps a couple years. 
and I, I don't expect any contact from you, which is okay. But if you do, that'd be wonderful, and, and I'll talk to you again, and, and that'd be great. I'd be in contact with you again, but no, no, that, that must be your choice for you to do on your behalf. Yep, stick to the script. Stick to the script I wrote. I can... I can wait, but... I can't wait forever. Sorry. I wish you the best. Maybe we can meet up in the future when we're both married to someone else. When I'm stable. Our children can have playdates. <laughs> and they can be childhood friends like us. Oh, no. No, no, no. Not like us. Just... Just as happy, normal friends. <laughs> yeah. Happy, normal friends. Thank you for all those happy years. I wonder if I'll see you again in the future. Thank you for staying with me till the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I can't wait to see you again.